For today's activity, we're going to learn the parts of the tooth. So what we'll need is two sheets of pink construction paper, one sheet of yellow construction paper, and one sheet of white construction paper, a marker, some red string, and some scissors. So the first thing we'll want to do is cut out an outline of a tooth on the white paper. So it'll look something like this, and it doesn't need to be perfect, but it needs to resemble as close as possible to a tooth. What you'll do next is make a smaller version in the yellow paper and an even smaller version in the pink paper. So it'll look something like this. So here's a smaller version of the yellow and here's a smaller version of the pink. So now we'll assemble it all together and start labeling each part of the tooth. Once we have all of our pieces ready to go, we can start assembling the tooth. So first we'll start with the white layer, then we'll put the yellow layer, and then we'll put the pink layer on top. So after you've assembled all the pieces, you can add the red yarn right in the middle. Just like that. So now it's time to label the parts of the tooth. I have written the parts on the scraps piece of paper from the tooth that we cut. You can get a little bit fancier and actually print the parts out on paper, or you can write it directly next to the parts. What I like about writing it and actually placing it down is that you can use it to quiz your children and also quiz yourself. So we're going to start with the outside of the tooth. First, we're going to label the top of the tooth, which is called the crown. So here we have our crown label. That's this part of the tooth. If we work our way down, we have the legs of the tooth, and that's the root of the tooth. Then we have the pink surrounding the tooth, and that is our gums. So next, we're going to go into the tooth and label each part of the tooth there. The outside, the white part that we have, is the enamel. That's the white and nice shiny part that we have that everyone can see. That's why it's so important to brush our teeth every day to keep our teeth healthy and happy and white. Now the yellow part of the tooth, that's our dentin. That is the next layer under the enamel. We can wear down our enamel and we start to see a yellowish hue. Sometimes that can be our dentin being exposed. Now when the dentin starts getting exposed, we start to feel a lot more sensitivity on our tooth because we don't have any more enamel left. Our enamel serves like a coat, like a covering. So as the enamel starts wearing down, our dentin doesn't have that coat to protect it. So we have more sensitivity because of it. So it's really important to protect our enamel of our tooth. So the pink part of the tooth, that is our pulp. It contains nerves and blood vessels and helps with the innervation of the actual tooth. So the string that we have represents some of the nerves, veins, and innervations that we have inside the pulp. If you have other colored strings, you can also include that in there to represent the different parts. So now that you have labeled all of the tooth, you can remove each label here and quiz yourself to see if you remember. have it we've learned the parts of the tooth i hope you enjoyed learning the parts of the teeth with me join me next time on another video